You received your instructions earlier. Here are my expectations. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Gentlemen, you must obey my commands. Now, both your trunks are absolutely perfect. I can see the belly button up, both you guys. No punches on the man. All punches above the man. Let's touch them up. Touch them up. Good luck and God bless. So we're finally set. William Clancy with lengthy instructions to the two fighters, the referee. And if he does win tonight, Daniel Dubois, he'll become just the second British-based heavyweight to win a version of the world heavyweight title on US soil. But most importantly, will become the WBA's mandatory challenger for the winner of the Joshua Usyk rematch. So the purple and black for Daniel Dubois, the white with orange and black for the unbeaten champion Trevor Bryan from New York. And Dubois said he wants to be explosive tonight, wants to send a message. His fights do tend to end early. And of course, the big thing we don't know tonight, really, Carl, is just how good the champion is. No, we don't. We don't. We, we haven't seen a lot of him. And obviously, his biggest win is a, an over the hill for me and Stavern. But he is the WBA regular champion. But one thing I've noticed here, there's a good shot already from Dubois. That's another good right hand that gets it over the top. And already, Brian is proving easy for Daniel Dubois to hit. One thing I've noticed here is how small the ring is. This suits Daniel Dubois, obviously, as he's going to be the aggressive fighter, coming forward, trying to land the big shots, but this is a tiny ring for big men. Dubois said this is an old-school experience, and when you see the preliminaries and see the arena and see the circumstances he's fighting in, you would certainly say that that is the case. He's talked about emulating Lennox Lewis and beating a Don King fighter in the US. He says he wants to show everybody tonight that he is the future of the heavyweight division and he's made a nice confident start here and he's been very accurate with that left jab and he's got the right hand in two or three times already as well and that looks like it's going to be the punch tonight that's going to cause Brian all the problems and there's very little early on coming back from the champion yeah I think that the Dubois jab is, is really important in this fight we've seen Trevor Brand as the fight goes on here if it if it goes on any further and maybe into the second half of the fight he could be a bit like a Kevin Johnson who took Dubois the distance. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to see it after a couple of rounds here, but it's a great start already from Dubois. Dubois, nice and aggressive, into a nice rhythm, and he's got Brian backed onto the ropes, and there's nothing at all coming back from Trevor Bryan with a minute to go in the first round, the first round that's been completely dominated by Daniel Dubois. Still nothing too clean landed yet, Flex. The jab's working well, but some of them right hands he was trying to land. Uh, Brown was getting off this side there and they weren't landing that clean as you can see there aren't too many people in here but it doesn't diminish just how important this is tonight for Daniel Dubois certainly no hiding places in this ring anyway you would expect as well being a Don King promotion that the ring would have been big it's their fighter it's his promotion final few seconds of the opening round then has been dominated by Daniel Dubois it's been a feeling out process in the opening round for the champion from New York Trevor Bryan Gift card fix their UK prices, so even if my bills go up elsewhere, I've got one less thing to worry about. With flexible plans, great value, and fixed UK prices for 2022. Phantom, the new fragrance for men by Paco Rabanne. Find your new favourite slots and get 50 free spins when you join Betfair Casino. some of the action from an opening round car that was dominated by Daniel Dubois it's a nice start we talked about all the things he's had to deal with in the lead up to the fight but it didn't affect the way he got off in the first round no it, it wasn't and it was important that he did have a fast start and that was, that was his job was landing um, trying to land the right hand he landed one good right hand that clearly troubled Brian but I think he put the pressure on further in this round the second round then 12 of Daniel Dubois 17 victories have ended before the end of this round and he's nice and sharp and aggressive early on here 
Brand's feet, the distance between his feet are very, very close, and it, it doesn't allow you to kind of move in and out freely. Look at the bar's base here, and he's, 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 he's up on his toes, and he's bouncing in and out, but Brand's feet are very close together, almost like plodding and walking forward. But he's slipping, he's slipping off to, the, to his own right, and that's what's making Dubois struggle to land that right hand clean. It's got a win against BJ Flores, who lost at cruiserweight to Tony Belly a few years ago. He beat a 42-year-old Bermain Stiverne to win the title, defended it against Jonathan Guidry in January. He is unbeaten, even if the standard of his opponents could have been higher. It certainly seems early on, though, that it's about survival for Trevor Bryant. He's a lot sharper, he's a lot quicker, and he's a lot more accurate up to now, Daniel Dubois. It, it might be the plan from, from Brand's team to try and drag this fight out, try and bring it into the second half of the fight and see what, du, what Dubois is like in the second half. They've obviously taken a little bit of confidence from the Joe Joyce defeat, but Trevor Brand, I don't think, is a Joe Joyce type fighter. But they put a lot of money for this, Fletch. So Don King is expecting his man to win this. They think he can't win this and they're confident. It's certainly been one or two tricks in the build-up to try and unhinge Dubois. Working nicely behind the left jab, not allowing Trevor Bryan any time to settle. I think Dubois is neglecting, I know we're only in the second round here, but I think he's neglecting the jab, jab to the body, just to bring Brand's hands down a little bit. It's a bit more ambition now from the champion. It's taken him a while to get started, but he is now trying to fire back against Dubois, which might just suit Dubois. If Brian is going to open up early in the fight, it is going to provide opportunities to land the right hand. There's a decent shot to the body. That was a bit better from Brian, but a little a bit of complaining there from a clash of heads. But that was much better for him. But you're right, it, it'll give Dubois more opportunities to land a right hand like he just did there. Brian took it well. Shane McGuigan's been talking about the power that Daniel Dubois possesses. Third time that they've been involved together as trainer and fighter. Final few seconds of the second round, which has been another good one for Daniel Dubois. Well, it's changed. And so have we. But whatever your career looks like right now, there's a space for you on LinkedIn. Seeing some of the action from the second round, another Daniel Dubois round, but just one or two signs in that three minutes, Carl, that he might be getting a bit more ambitious, Trevor Bryan. Yeah, I think I think so. He, he, he was a little bit better in that round than he was in the first. Still a Dubois round, not enough to win the round for Bryan, but... The more he throws, the more opportunities Daniel Dubois is going to have to land clean. So that they come for the third round. It's a far less impressive casino, this one, than the ones we see in Las Vegas. I think you'd say there's an 80s feel to things tonight. It's been quite badly affected by a tropical storm that passed through as well. I think they've had to deal with a bit of flooding in the arena, one or two leaks and all that kind of thing, but they have been able to get the fight underway and Daniel Dubois has made a nice confident start in it. I've seen better casinos than Blackpool, Fletch. A few more feints, I think, from Dubois. He's landing that job. Not all the time, but he, 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 his jab is popping out nice and fast. But a few feints just to draw something out of Brian so he can maybe try and land that, that right hand over the top. But it's, again, he hasn't really went to the body yet. And there is a big target there. A bit better. Nice jab to the body from Dubois. 
certainly a throwback seeing Don King involved in a, a meaningful heavyweight fight 91 in August 48 years after promoting the rumble in the jungle he's still involved at what you consider to be the sharp end of the heavyweight division sat looking on ringside to see whether his man Trevor Bryan could defend the WBA regular heavyweight title it's a bit of a throwback isn't it it's great to see Don King still around and still promoting fights and still involved in the game such a famous face and I suppose his style and his hair and everything else to go with it tonight somewhat removed from those heady days of the mid 80s when he was promoting the big fights involving Mike Tyson it's a good left jab by Daniel Dubois he's been nice and sharp with that so far dominating the early rounds here Carl building up a nice lead yeah it that's lovely that's a great shot by Dubois that has Brian going backwards and he's looking for a bit of comfort towards the ropes and Dubois looking to let the punches go for the first time in the fight really trying to mix it up between head and body the left hook finding the target still 20 seconds left here but Brian is actually he still he covers up well and he's, he's pretty hard to nail clean Dubois is going to have to pick a nice shot out Final few seconds of the third round where we've seen Daniel Dubois unload for the first time. The right uppercut might well have sneaked through. The left hook certainly did. And that's a worrying round for Trevor Bryan and a very good one for Daniel Dubois. If I fix their UK prices, so even if my bills go up elsewhere, I've got one less thing to worry about. With flexible plans, great value and fixed UK prices for 2022. Locked in each Lore aluminium capsule, discover the finest flavours. Lore, a masterpiece in taste. Phantom, the new fragrance for men by Paco Rabanne. The third round, best round of the fight so far for Daniel Dubois. The first round really, Carl, where he's found his range and got the big shots in yeah he's, he's really in control he's won the won the first three rounds so far but that was his best round uh brian was hurt a little bit in that round but he done well to recover um but daniel i think will try to start fast again this round I say, it's got the feeling of a big round this one hasn't it for the champion yeah i think so and what we got to remember we haven't really spoke about this the humidity out there right now it's got to be really really high and i think that that suits one fighter more than the other. I think Brian may be used to training in Miami and fighting in places like this. But it's got to be humid conditions to be fighting. And I think if you're Team Dubois, you don't really want this to go long. It's a heavyweight division that is going to continue to get more and more interesting depending on what Tyson Fury decides to do. What happens in the rematch between Usyk and Joshua. Daniel Dubois wants to be very much part of the future scene. There's talk that Deontay Wilder is going to be coming back and his name's being linked with one or two. Fascinating heavyweight division. Yeah, there's big opportunities for the winner of this. And again, it just puts them right amongst them, amongst the mix. Obviously, the top boys still need to sort things out. But these are the next guys in line, ready for when the opportunity comes. Good shot to the body there from Dubai. He, he's kind of neglected. Not neglected the jab to the body but the right hand as well to the body that was a lovely shot he's wobbled by that the left hand got him Trevor Bryan back to the ropes sweetest shot so far tonight from Daniel Dubois it looks like he's started to soften the champion up and if he can land many more of those Carl he's going to finish this one early yeah that was a lovely shot I think he, he's thrown the one two here a lot and I think the left hook is coming into play a little bit more. He heard him with the left hook. He's trying to throw it again. If he throws the one-two and brings a left hook up, up the way, as as Brian tries to lean into it, that may work for him. He's in survival mode at the minute. Trevor Bryan. There's a great shot from Daniel Dubois. That's it. He's face down on the canvas. Dubois detonates the dynamite onto the chin of Trevor Bryan. He's not going to beat the count. And Daniel Dubois is the WBA regular heavyweight champion of the world. 
with a stunning knockout in Miami. Yeah, great finish. That was a left hook, wasn't it, that he landed there? And that was the shot they were kind of calling for. A lovely shot. Daniel Dubois is now the WBA regular champion. And he's put himself right amongst it. The opportunities now after, off the back of this are going to be huge for him. But he, he's there, he's there, thereabouts. Well, good to see Trevor Bryan back up on his feet. Nice and quickly. And they'll check that he's okay. But the big smile that was on the face of Daniel Dubois showed just how he's feeling tonight. What a significant night for him. Everything he's had to deal with in the build-up, he took in his stride. And that was an absolute beauty of a punch to finish the fight in the fourth round. It makes him the mandatory challenger on the WBA side of things for the winner of Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua later this summer. And you can only beat what's in front of you. But the way he went about it tonight, Carl Frampton, was so impressive. Of course, he started, he started with his jab and he was landing his jab almost at will in the first couple of rounds. He had a great third round where he started to get the brand and we expected a big fourth round and that's exactly what we got. Bram was clever in, in, in terms of getting away from the right hand. Dubois was throwing a 1 2, he was leading off Ladies the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, this was bout comes landed. to a halt at 1 minute 58 seconds of the fourth round. Your winner by technical knockout and new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite Daniel What a moment. And be sure to stick around. We have three Daniel more bouts A significant victory for him. He's come to Miami and won the WBA regular heavyweight title. It's a step along the road to potential heavyweight superstar. And confirmation, if we needed it, that his power will trouble anybody. Let's hear from him. What do you expect the reception to be when you get back? Oh, it's going to be amazing, you know?